For September's film, we traveled to Seattle over Labor Day weekend and explored the city on our own. We were mainly in downtown Seattle and Pike's Place Market, but we also ventured into Puget Sound and Bainbridge Island. Wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. Wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. The idea for Seattle Symphony No. 1 comes from a film subgenre that's nearly 100 years old. The City Symphony is an offshoot of the documentary form and sets out to capture a city's essence on film. This can range from architectural consideration to old-fashioned people watching. The footage is assembled together and of course set to music. City symphonies emerged in the 1920s when filmmakers like Walter Ruttmann and Ziga Vertov were making films like Berlin, Symphony of a Metropolis, and Man with a Movie Camera. The latter is one of the first films I was shown in film school. It blew my mind and is still one of the most impressive feats of filmmaking all these decades later. You don't see city symphonies these days, or at least films proclaiming to be one. Filmmakers like Godfrey Reggio and Ron Frick have made films that at times fit the bill, but seldom limit themselves to a specific city or selection of cities. Terence Davies of Time in the City comes to mind, but that film is built largely out of archival footage, and the filmmaker's narration makes for a historical if not poetic video essay about his home city of Liverpool. With the advent of consumer cameras and online video sharing, practically every city in the world has been documented many times over. You can find a seeming endless amount of videos on trips to Seattle, or anywhere for that matter. Just type in any city followed by trip on YouTube. Most are glorified home videos or video blogs like this. Sometimes the blues just love passing work, and why can't that always be? But these often turn into little symphonies at times. From your merger's crown. And hey, check this one out. As with most of my shorts in this year's series, Seattle Symphony No. 1 was shot entirely on iPhones. I wanted to capture what it felt like to be walking around a new city for the first time, being dwarfed by the skyscrapers at one moment, and being majestized atop the needle the next. We happened to go to the aquarium the same day we had reservations at a renowned sushi bar, and the irony of these separate, sensual, satisfying sights made its way into the film. The infamous gum wall was something I wanted to shoot before going to Seattle. The month's short film was originally going to be a scripted endeavor about a gum connoisseur who makes his way to this personal mecca of chew. But after being taken with the city itself, my plans changed. I still wanted to include the gum wall and decided to end the symphony within its cloying passageway. Each piece of gum represented another being who made it to this city. Each piece had a different story behind it. Millions of lives met at this affront to hygiene and rainbow of vandalism. It seemed to be the perfect place to end the song. Whoa.